Night Joe Howe, Mojo Billy, welcome to the channel. Today's video we'll be walking this bike tent scenic area. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, this is the Old Street District. At night, it's a, a night market, and during the day, it's a bit of a day market, so let's check it out. We're gonna walk to the end to the ferry, and then we're gonna walk along the famous Water District as well. Like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have haven't done so earlier.
This end of the street is primarily residential. Let's come out here and take a quick view of the residence. This area is about 40 minutes south of Taipei and New Taipei City. It's going to be right on the edge of the mountains. As you can see, we're starting to gain some elevation. Most of the homes here are low-rise properties. Uh, only maybe three to five stories tall and probably built in the last 30 to 50 years. If you're a local and you happen to drive here, they do have a public parking lot at the end, on the south end of the uh, old scenic road. It was a Cedan Road and you can park here and then you can come down and enjoy the water activities. There is actually a little ferry service that goes from here across uh, to the other side that you see over there. Uh, I don't know how it publicly works, uh, but if I find anything, I'll leave some links in the description below. This is the Bitan River area that's most famous for this area. We're going to walk along the uh, shoreline here and check it out. Back over in here are some various hiking trails. I'll list links to them as well. You get started on those over by the suspension bridge. Very easy to follow, all outlined on Google Maps. And like I said, I'll leave a description below. Looks like we ran into some Instagram models taking a photo shoot out here amongst the beautiful scenery. And up there, there, there is another walkway up there and that'll take you along the kind of the boardwalk. We will finish up on that area so you'll get to check it out before the video is over. Plenty of access points from the boardwalk down to the waterfront path. So it's got a lot of access, a lot of public facilities, and it's very popular, especially on the weekends and in the evening. 
Also, uh, canoeing and paddle boat and row boats are very popular. You have rentals all along here on both sides of the river. This is the start of the main uh, promenade area along the water. You can see the big dock area out here. And then up here, you can see the business area and the boardwalk that's up above. It's primarily restaurants and bars. This time of the year, they got the misters going to keep us nice and cool. We'll be up there in a minute. And I'm sure it's got some gorgeous views of this area. It must be fantastic, especially in the evening. Water's very clear, very calm. See some fish down there. See. The items that you see here is part of the nightly uh, water show. It's a couple hours uh, shows each evening. I'll put a link in the description. You see in the background there the famous suspension bridge. Uh, it was built in the like early 1920s, if my uh, memory is correct, uh, and had been abandoned for many years. And it was repaired and reopened like in 2015. It's one of the most popular tourist areas to get you from the two different districts on either side of the river here. These are some of the canoes that are available for rent, some of the paddle boats uh, that are available. It's just a little too hot for anybody to be doing that now. During the winter, I'm sure it's real popular and in the evening. From here, guys, we're gonna head up. We're gonna pick up the suspension bridge, walk across it, show you some beautiful views, go to the other side, and then uh, we'll head back and show you the business uh, front uh, boardwalk area. All right, folks, this is the famous Beton Suspension Bridge. 
Let's go check it out. Back in this direction, you'll head into Taipei. That's towards the north. This will be south, heading out into New Taipei City, out into the mountain areas. Got a wonderful view from up here. At night, this place the bridge lights up with the multiple like RGB colors. So it looks pretty cool from the distance. As we cross the bridge, we head into another city area. I'll look this up again and put it in the um, remarks below. And right here to my left, this is the start of a local hiking trail. It's marked pretty easy. It's a nice little scenic route that goes through those mountains that uh, we saw when we were coming in. This is the less famous side of the area. Yeah. This is the entrance. This is where we are right now, guys. And then you can take this hiking trail, see some different uh, buildings, remains, some interesting areas, and you end up by some old coal mines. Uh, and then from there, you either have to hike back, it looks like, or maybe you can pick up a taxi and get back to MRT or something from there. So the boardwalk starts here underneath the overpass. It's got nice little grounds and gardens. That's where we were walking down below. And that'll continue all the way down to the end of the ferry where we started. From here, we're gonna go walk over the covered area. That's kind of the uh, uh, boardwalk business area. So this is mainly lined with uh, restaurants, uh, some bars, uh, and those types of places.
Here's a view of the suspension bridge from below. And right now we're on the boardwalk area. We're gonna check out the restaurants. I wanna pick out a place to eat and uh, we'll wrap up this video. Just in case you needed it, they have some public bathrooms right here in the middle of the uh, boardwalk area between the two groupings of restaurants. You see these misters here, this area feels really good. have a visitor center here from the seating area you have a nice beautiful view of the water and this bit restaurant is directly in front of the water show so at night this must be a prime spot to eat and watch the show.
down on this end, you have a nice like park-like setting up here, overlooking the water. Absolutely gorgeous. It's nice and cool under the shade here. This area looks popular with some of the locals, brought some of their own food. Got plenty of tables to sit out and enjoy yourself and take in the view and the water. Enjoy this nice summer day. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscription uh, button if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment below. That's it for today's guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.